What's up, YouTube? Jim and I, Johnny, back again with day 26 of TikToktober, where I'm taking you through the weirdest, creepiest, and most unexplained TikToks I can find every single day for the month of October. So if you're new here, that's right. You can join me every day at 4.15 p.m. PST for the premiere of a brand new video or a live stream. Or you can just turn on that notification bell so you never miss one. I do take what I call a rational believer's approach to these because I do believe in most of these phenomenon, but a lot of these videos are fake, and I'm not gonna be a yes man and give you fake reactions and act like everything is real, because you deserve better than that. All right, now without further ado, Let's jump right in. You guys, we've made it to that side of Zillow again. And this time, I don't really know how I feel about it. So let's just go take the tour and let's see where it takes us. And I'm gonna recommend bringing your crosses with you. <laughs> oh Jeez. my gosh. I don't even know what to say about this. Seeing the kids' toys is making it that much more insane. I am, what happened? What are these there photos? Is, it feels like there's so much distress. House is completely ran down falling apart random stuff chairs the ceilings falling holes everywhere i can't even tell if there were people living here squatter just what does that say what does that say what does that say if anybody can make that out oh my gosh that thing in the back scared me mm. is this the garage oh my gosh why would you even and be selling this entrance. house just tear this thing down you guys gotta let me know how you it. feel about this one because I'm not feeling well. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, follow, comment, and share for more. Yeah, I don't even understand how that house is for sale. I mean, I'm assuming that the people who own it don't want to do the work of tearing it down or pay for having it torn down. I'd rather just sell it off and let somebody else deal with it, which I can't say I blame them. Jeez, that is really ran down. I wonder where that's at. Oh, <laughs> of course it is. It's in Gary, Indiana. My sister used to live in Gary, Indiana, and every time I've ever told people that, I get very strange reactions. <laughs> and this house lets me know why. Yeah, I hear it's a pretty rough city. Very weird, creepy, I'm sure, I don't know, I get just bad vibes from that house. Like, seems like a lot of bad stuff has happened there. And like, some of these photos, like who who's taking these like blurry ass pictures? Like what is even, like, you couldn't stand still for a couple seconds to take the photo? Like what are they taking, what is this? <laughs> Is this supposed to be helpful in a Zillow listing? I don't know. I know I'm spending too much time on this, but I'm just... Damn, that's so wild. All right. I just caught my three-year-old Poppy talking to and waving to someone upstairs in the darkness. This eerie video comes from TikTok user Beth. I'll tag her below. And one night, she notices her daughter stop in front of the staircase, look up in the dark hallway, and wave, which you'll see here. Feeling a bit creeped out, she decides to sit her down and ask her a few questions about just what she was waving at. And they weren't ready for what she was about to say. Now it should be noted that she does have a follow-up to this video. So definitely, go check it out. But as always, let me know what you think. Can you tell mommy who you were waving to? No. Why? Because I don't know who it is. Okay, well what did they look like? No, I was laughing. Why mm. won't you tell mommy who it was? I don't know. Please tell me. But it's no, it's nobody. A girl. It was a girl? Yeah. And what did they look like? Uh -huh. It looks like me. It just looks like me. Was she young? Yeah. Is she your friend? No. She's not your friend now? No. Is she not very nice? No. Is she mean? Yeah. Did she say mean things to you? Yeah. Where, where have you seen her before? Um, not, nowhere. So you've only seen her at the top of the stairs? Yeah. Yeah? When yeah. you wave at her and blow her a kiss, does she wave back and blow kisses back? No. no. Like, what does she do when what you blow a kiss? Mm. She just bites me. Your Honor, the prosecution is using leading questions. This is not admissible in the court of law. Yeah, uh, it just seemed like the little girl was trying to give her parents the answers they wanted to hear because they wouldn't leave her alone. Do you see a creepy little girl at the top of the stairs? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Does she wave at you and blow kisses? Uh, n no. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> Sorry for that horrible accent. Deepest lake in the U.S., Crater Lake. The ocean is terrifying, but lakes? Lakes are haunted as heck. 
I just went down an entire rabbit hole about Crater Lake in Oregon. This lake is spooky dooky for so many reasons that I can't even name them all. Basically, the lake was created 8,000 years ago when an ancient volcano called Mount Mazama collapsed inwards. This resulted in a five mile wide and just under 2,000 feet deep lake filled with snow melt water, making Crater Lake the clearest, cleanest, and deepest body of water in the entire United States. The lake was so deep that there was a rumor that it was bottomless. Scientists still don't know where the water comes from or where it goes. The local native tribes that are indigenous to the area believe that Crater Lake is a portal to another world, specifically the underworld, and according to oral tradition, houses supernatural beings within its depths. I don't know about Crater Lake being a portal to the upside down, but it does have a dark history. It's been the site for a slew of accidental and strange deaths, murders, and suicides. There's this one story about this man, a photographer named Charles McCuller, who visited Crater Lake in 1974 and never returned. Two years later, park rangers found only his socks, pants, and bone fragments as if, quote, the rest of his body just melted away. In 1949, there was a woman who was coming on the lake with a group and swore that she saw something enormous moving beneath them in the lake that was big enough to create waves visible from the shore. She described what she saw as dragon-esque, but no one believed her. Then there's the bizarre case of the missing plane. In 1944, two planes were flying together on a clear day when suddenly one of the planes vanishes without a trace. Zero distress calls were made from the plane and the disappearance was a mystery for a while. Then a search and rescue team found evidence that the plane had actually crashed into the lake and right. had sunk to the bottom. To this day, no one knows how or why the plane crashed. And this lake is so massive that it has three islands within the lake, which each have their own creep factor to them. Wizard Island, Phantom, Ship Island, and Old Man of the Lake. With hmm. names like that, you're practically begging for creepy things to happen. They're all spooky in their own right, but I think the last one takes the cake for me. Wizard Island is named as such because it's supposed to look like a wizard hat, and hmm. it is known to be haunted. People often report seeing campfires or fires on the island, but then rangers never find any evidence of fire, smoke, or ashes. Then there's Phantom Ship Island. It's noted for its very odd shape, which kind of looks like a ship. And then depending on the time of day and angle, the island appears to vanish, hence the name. Now we've come to the old man of the lake. It's actually a log that has floated upright for more than a hundred years without any weight. It floats four feet above the water and the rest extends 30 feet below the surface. And it has just stayed like that for over a hundred years. And apparently the local rangers don't like disturbing the log because doing so in the past has caused sudden changes in the weather. As I said, the lake is so clear that you can see down straight 140 feet. But what lies in the other 1800 feet of darkness? Perhaps some questions are better left unanswered i feel like i've heard of crater lake but i didn't i didn't know the history behind it that's crazy there's so many lakes up there it's kind of wild she is til science on tiktok is her at name dr harini bot I like her stuff yeah lakes are horrifying between lake lanier crater lake i mean even lakes in oklahoma where they all had like ghost stories and supposed hauntings and stuff i would love to go check out that island wizard island phantom island not old man log floating island that's creepy as hell i don't i don't understand how can a lo wouldn't a log eventually get so water soaked it would sink to the bottom also the people who dive down that thing are insane one of the comments says crater lake has proven to be a portal to the underworld especially when you go diving with no diving gear or oxygen <laughs> imagine opening your door and finding this <laughs> what is this <laughs> Hold on, where'd he go? Yeah, if I open my door and find this, I'm punting this little mother. Like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't be scared of something that's 18 inches tall, bro. AI is getting good. I was a 911 operator for a little over five years. What was my scariest call? So I have a lot of them, um, but one of the ones I think about on a consistent basis is it's a warm summer evening and this lady calls in, it's like 10 or 11 o'clock at night and somebody has broken into her house. Um, she lives alone and so she knows there's like 
nobody else supposed to be there. She has no animals, but she can hear them walking around um, downstairs. Okay. So as an I one operator, at least in the agency that I worked for, you can't like tell somebody where to go. Like, oh, go hide here or go here or go outside because you don't know the layout of the house. Like you don't know if it's safe. You don't want to put somebody in unnecessary danger. So I told her to go where she felt the most safe. And so she was like crouched down behind clothes in her closet um, and she had called in from a landline. So as I'm getting like officers dispatched out to her, somebody picks up the other phone from downstairs and we both just go silent. Like I put myself on mute because I have a lot of people walking around me. It's loud. And the intruder started breathing like the most creepy, like it was like, <gasps> and it literally made my skin crawl. Um, luckily, we were able to get officers out there pretty quickly, and they were o able to apprehend um, the intruder. That's but good. when I tell you, like, I still think about that man's breathing. Um, it keeps me up sometimes. Like, I'll wake up and like I can hear it. And yeah, it was it was awful. But that's one of those calls that kind of sticks with me. But I have a ton of them. Uh, I think what she meant to say is she has PTSD from her time as a nine one one operator. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, it just wakes me up and it keeps, and I think about it all the time and it just haunts my memories and I just can't get sleep and I can't really do any daily activities without thinking about it. But you know, it's just this fun little crazy little thing that happened. <laughs> like it's, yeah, I mean, hey, people got to deal how they got to deal. But I've talked about it before, but I went to like an EMT school and we talked about 911 operators and EMT operators and mental health and stuff uh, while I was there. And yeah, I mean, it's honestly, it's what a lot of people end up retiring from that field for is that it's it's very traumatic to deal with and see that and hear that stuff day in and day out. And, uh, you know, human brains, I don't, I don't think our, our, our brains don't have the capacity to be faced with that much trauma all day, every day. And like, sure, you can deal, you can get through it, but how's your mental state going to be when you're done? You know, like, I don't know, just, uh, mental health is important and I implore people to seek out help especially if you work in a traumatic field like that. Uh, but she is Jules.Crawford on TikTok. So if you want to go check out, I think she's doing this as a series, like her 911 stories, it sounds like. Uh, yeah, I mean, she just posts normal stuff. It's not, she, it, it looked like she did do some of the 911 stories in her past videos. So if you want to go check this out, you can. Jules.Crawford. I'll uh, make that full screen, but it says, so I was staying in a hotel for power to come back on after Hurricane Milton. I captured this overnight when the power came back on. Quote, that thing is still there. It changed when it went lower. I don't know if that makes sense. It looks different. Uh, am I covered now? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? It's like a giant ant. Alien? And that's it. It just that played through twice. It's only 22 seconds long, but I, just, I don't know what I'm looking at. I have no idea, dude. You guys let me know what you think that is. It's, I, I don't, I'm, I'm, looks like a giant ant. I don't know, did they get, was there a radiation leak or something and the ants have become six feet long? I saw another one of these recently and I don't, I, I mean, I'm sure it's somebody faking stuff, but Kimmer picked this up around 8 p.m. last night. Very unsettling to see. Luckily, the dogs seemed to scare it off. Camera picked this up around 8 p.m. last night. Very unsettling to see. Luckily, the dogs seem to scare it off. Well, 
unfortunately, I can see your tennis shoes. So either that alien's got some drip, or you stopped at the mall, try to look more human. I don't know how you plan on blending in when you're 10 feet tall, but yeah, my guess, it's probably an alien mask, a broomstick. Very silly. But you went through all that trouble to get 30,000 likes on TikTok. He also does these, uh, look what my door cam, doorbell cam picked up videos, and he does a bunch of different characters. So, you know, I'm guessing just trying to do whatever he can to go viral. Pretty sure I just got a time traveler on camera. This is crazy or insane. I don't know how to process this. Oh, it was him that did the other one. I mean, obviously it was him that did the other one, but here you go. Also, I don't think an alien would need a tarp to cloak itself. Shout out to this guy though for, you know, going above and beyond to try to fake some footage. Chat, is this real? This wasn't even the one I saw before. So I've seen, there's at least three videos of this guy floating around somewhere out there. The bro gets around, that's all I'm trying to say. Bob, you know this guy? Watch. Wait, what's up there? Oh. Uh, y'all, y'all should probably check on your neighbor upstairs. How does that even happen, dude? Oh, God, I hope that's fake. One of the comments said, I've had that same outline on my ceiling for months now. At first, I thought it was going to be the girl on the far end over there. What they're trying to say, because her eyes look hella dark. I mean, actually, all their eyes look hella dark. Also, not to be like judgmental or whatever, but if you're going to take a group photo, wouldn't you kind of like clear up the area a little bit? It looks like they're sitting in a pile of stuff. After taking some video footage of my dogs, I set the camera down and took them outside. What I noticed in the video later has freaked me out. Next to you. Puppies. That's my sock. I got my sock. Grab it. Is it on the pee pee? Okay, let's go pee pee. Come on, guys. Let's go. Now, why would you just set your camera down and leave it there? Are those eyes? What's that over there? Right there. What is that? Is that what we're cre being creeped out by today? I don't see anything in the closet. You see the, the two glowing dots or whatever caught my eye at first because they dimmed for there for a second. I thought it blinked. Oh, whoa, well, yeah. That's weird. It's also so subtle. It's believable. But it, it is weird that you just happen to leave your camera running right there. At that exact moment when a ghost decides to walk through the doorway. So, yeah, now. Animals that scientists are trying to bring back. From North America. Saber toothed tiger. No. Why, why would they do that? We don't need it, bro. A tiger with snake From teeth. From Northern Colombia. No. Titanoboa. Again, why? There's no reason for that. These things died off for a reason, bro. From the ocean. Megalodon. No, oh, of course. And of course he says it wrong. Megalodon. It's Megalodon. But once again, we also don't need that. From and it might still be Siberia. out there. So. Woolly Mammoth. That's kind of cool. From so Oranius Island. Dodo Bird. Yeah, that's cool too. I'm cool with those two. I think there was allegedly a dodo bird sighting From somewhere. Madagascar. Madagascar. Bird. You, I don't even know anything about that, but I don't think we need it. We got ostriches, bro. We're good. I don't know how to explain it, but this thing 
Looks mean as hell. Things look, uh, it's just gonna run by you and peck you in the head. But he's got little buddies. So maybe he's okay. I don't know. In today's horror history, we're gonna learn about the true story behind Jeepers Creepers. I've always heard that there's a true story behind it, but I've never really looked into it, so I feel like it's gonna be interesting. Downright creepy things that have happened in Michigan. Coming in at number one, we have the actual murder that inspired the movie Jeepers Creepers. A husband and wife are passing by this abandoned schoolhouse when they notice a green truck, as well as a man carrying what looks to be a blood-soaked sheet with a body inside it. Well, just a few miles later, this truck is now barreling up behind them, and it would follow them menacingly for a good few miles before turning off. It was at this time they decided to go back and get his license plate, and when they pass by him one more time, he is now changing the plates and there is a substantial amount of blood within the vehicle. This man's name was Dennis DePew and he had just recently murdered his ex-wife in front of his own children. Next Jeez. we have a woman from Detroit who would poison 14 customers as a result of being demoted at work. You see what happened was when her job title changed from cook to dishwasher, she took it upon herself to start placing arsenic in the biscuit. And even though there was a substantial amount of evidence linking her to this crime, she was able to get off on all charges. This woman's name was Rose Barron, and several members of her own family would die under mysterious circumstances just a year prior. In addition Jeez. to this, she will be the sole claimer of their life insurance policy. Before we get to number three, I would just like to say if you are into this sort of thing, I have several playlists on my page, of which contain more thorough videos of strange happenings. Last but definitely not least, we have what I like to call Detroit's very own Hinter Kaifeck murder, otherwise known as the St. Ubin Street Massacre. Back in the late 1920s, a man by the name of Benny Evangelist claimed to be hearing the voice of God. It was at this point he filled his basement with these creepy wax dolls, started a cult, and began writing his own Bible. Well, on the very night that that Bible was published, he, along with his wife and four children, were brutally murdered by someone with an axe throughout the house. And Benny himself was found to be sitting in a prayer-like position, with his head sitting in a chair several feet away. The killer was never found. And those are just a few of the downright creepy things that have happened Perfect in loop. Michigan. Coming in at number one. Love me a good loop. For today's palate cleanser, my kind of cat. <laughs> Monkey, where have you been and what have you got? Ask me that. What is... Oh, a scratch card. Is it a winner, though? A tenor. Monkey! What the hell have you got now? Tablets. Where have you been to the chemist? Monkey, what have you got now? <laughs> Fresh. <laughs> what have you got? Monkey, what have you got today? Give me them chip sticks. No way. What are these? <laughs> He's so proud. <laughs> Look what I got you. <laughs> what have you got There's now? More. Give me that. Is this? Emotional support pickle. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey, what have you got? What is that? <laughs> Wool plugs. Wow. I love how he's sitting there like, see, I pitch in. That's <laughs> uh, funny. I think Kitty knows something you don't. He brought you a pad, an emotional support pickle, and some snacks. And for good measure, an actual timeline cleanse. <laughs> say just like prayers don't work in the comments i don't think this really i don't think sage and palo santo really work via video medium but that's all right leave you with this but there you have it folks that is day 26 of tiktoktober in the books we did it we done it 
we're doing it some more. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Drop a like for me. And also, a secret society of ghost hunters just sent me a message saying if this video doesn't receive enough likes, they're going to release a poltergeist in my studio. So help me keep the paranormal at bay and smash that like button. There's a bunch of links in the description of this video. You guys probably all know at this point, but they're affiliate links. So if you click on them and buy anything or subscribe to anything, I'll probably get a small commission. My Patreon link is also down there. It's only 99 cents a month. So come say hi to the gym crew. And if not, that's okay too. I'm just glad to have you right here. I'm watching on YouTube. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. I love you. So until next time, stay creepy.